Hello coders, welcome back to our channel IAS Tech. Today we are diving into an exciting topic how to use jQuery in Angular. Although not typically recommended, there are cases where integrating jQuery can be helpful in Angular project. So let's get started. Firstly, it's important to understand that why we generally avoid using jQuery with Angular. Angular is a comprehensive framework that aims to minimize direct DOM manipulation, which is essentially what jQuery is used for. But in some scenarios, like when using certain legacy libraries plugin, we might need jQuery. So let's begin with creating a new Angular project. I am assuming that you already have Angular CLI installed. If not, then please check our previous video on how to set up Angular environment. So you can create a new Angular project if you want to, but I already have my existing simplest Angular project that I already have generated by using ng-new command. So I will use that in this video. So once we have our project set up, the next step is installing jQuery. We use npm to do this. So simply open your terminal in the project directory and type npm install jQuery dash dash save. Great. So now we have jQuery installed in our project. To use it, we need to add a reference to it in the angular.json file. So look for the scripts array in and add the path to the jQuery file and it should look like something like this. So after that is done, make sure to restart your server so that Angular can pick up the changes. Now to use jQuery, we need to import it in our component file. So we import jQuery like this. You have to type import star as dollar sign from jQuery. Now it is giving me a type error. If you read it, you have to copy paste this command to install the types of this jQuery library. So just copy that and paste in the terminal and press enter. This will install the type definitions for the jQuery. Once that is done, done, then error will be gone. Now you can use jQuery in this component. So let's write a simple code to test it. I'm going to implement the ng on init lifecycle hook method in my component. So make sure to import it as well from Angular core and here we will. Now I'm going to register and a click event on the footer element that we have in app.component. So I will register that event with the help of jQuery. First of all, I will define a template reference variable here in the HTML by using hash icon and we gave it a name footer now in our component we need to inject we need to add the view child from angular and use static group and give it a name, property name footer that would be able to, that we will be able to access from the component. And we have given it the type element ref and make sure to import it as well from Angular Core. After that is done, in ng on init, I will try to get that footer element by using this dot footer dot native element. and we will register the click event on this element and whenever somebody clicks on that we will show an alert so let's try that i am clicking on the footer but it is not working so there are no errors so actually the issue is that at this time ng on init at this time period the element is not ready yet and it is not available in the DOM yet that's why we're getting undefined so that's mean we have to use a different approach instead of using on init lifecycle hook method we should use ng 
we should use after view init. So this function ng after view init will be called only after the view is ready. So if view is ready, then that's mean the component is uh, the all of the HTML tags are available that can be accessed. So I did not save the HTML file. After saving it, you can see we are getting the component alert. I will remove the alert and now if you test click on the footer you will see the alert is being visible so that's great we can do some other experiments as well so for example uh, we will receive the event from the callback function of the click event and then we will get the target from the event and we will replace the inner html with the new text hello world if you click on that then you will see the latest text And that's it. You have used jQuery in your Angular project. Keep in mind that this should be a lost resort and Angular's built-in features should be your first choice for DOM manipulation. So if this video was useful, please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.